So welcome back everybody, this is John with Swing Fit. In today's video, we're gonna take a little left turn. We're gonna take a little break from that of our typical club fitting videos. We know you guys actually love that content, so thank you for your feedback and your support. And we definitely got a couple good ones coming up here for you, so just stay tuned. But in today's video, this is for those do-it-yourselfers. We get a lot of questions about, you know what? Hey John, if I was actually going to set up my own indoor home simulator setup, you know what? what's the best material I need? You know, I mean, projectors, you know, the turf, the impact screens, you know, the launch monitors, you know, what would I need? And, you know, is there anything you can share with me to kind of, you know, cut through the chase? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the impact screens, you know? So if you was ever curious and wanted to know where these high-end fitting studios get their impact screens, well, we're gonna share a vendor that we like working with that actually produces probably the best impact screens that's out there. We've been using them a long time and absolutely love them. And he's actually got a couple different versions for you. So depending on your budget, you know what? You can't go wrong. So without further ado, let's jump in and find out exactly where we get our impact screens and why we love them so much. So before we dive into today's topic, I first off want to take a quick second to welcome any new viewers to the channel. So if this happens to be your first time or if you're just passing through, then please do yourself a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button below. It's down here somewhere. Turn on the bell so this way you receive an alert each and every single week when we drop our new content. And if you are new to the channel and want to learn more about the club fitting process from start to finish, I can promise you, you are in the right place because each and every single week, we walk you through our real world customer fitting examples. I'm talking about what are we putting in our customers back to help them take their game to another level. And we truly believe that these stories and our knowledge can help you make the best informed decision. So once again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Now in today's video, this is a little segment that we like to call Four Minute Thursdays. This is where we try to provide you the most value in the quickest period of time possible. And if you stick with us to the end, we're gonna give you a coupon code that's gonna get you 5% off your entire purchase price. So whether you're in the market for a brand new impact screen or any other home simulator supplies, turf, hitting mats, you know, little plastic cups, whatever it may be, you know what, you can get 5% off your entire purchase price. So definitely stick with us to the end. So without further ado, let's throw four minutes on the clock and let's start now. And there's four critical elements that you need in order to complete your home simulator setup, you know, with your launch monitor and your hitting area being two of them and your projector and your impact screen being the other two. And that's what we're talking about today, especially if you are thinking about making a high-end purchase with your projector. Maybe you're thinking about going 4K. Maybe you're thinking about going laser because you want the brightest image and the highest contrast. Well, if that's the case, then definitely we want to make sure that you don't cut corners on the impact screen because this is definitely going to help you get the most out of that investment because believe me I'm speaking from experience you know take a look at our impact screens and these things are only like maybe four months old and this is what it looks like I mean and we paid top dollar I'm talking almost as twice as much money than what we're going to show you today so definitely if you don't want your image to look like this but look like this then definitely stay with me So before we put this baby up, let's talk about a couple key characteristics that you're going to look for in a good, high quality impact screen. And one of the things we absolutely believe you should not live without is an impact screen without a border. It does two things. One, it actually hides the raw edge of the material. And two, it actually gives you an ability, especially if it has the steel rivets attached into the border, to actually make the bungee install system a hundred times easier. Um, so definitely, you know, don't pinch pennies there. Go with something with a nice inch and a half, two inch wide and look for the steel rivets as well because once again, you'll thank me later. Now in regards to the material, the company we like to use has two different versions. They have a single layer version which would be considered their most economical. So if you're on a budget, definitely you can't go wrong with the single layer or they have their premium version which is a triple layer. And really the big difference between the two is the triple layer is definitely a little brighter and you can just tell that, you know, it has a little 
little tighter woven pattern, which is going to make the image just pop and stand out than that of the single layer. And then second big thing is, is that this one's going to be a little quieter because it's definitely a little softer material. But in regards to durability, both of them will stand the test of time. And if it can actually, you know, take a beating in our studio, I know it will do well for you. Oh, and before I forget, there are two sides to every impact screen. There is a front side and a back side, and this company is going an extra mile to attach a business card. So before you just rip it off, make sure you know which side is the front, because this will definitely save you some headaches and some potential disappointment in the long run. Trust me. Now, one of the questions we often get asked is, you know, what do you use to protect the surrounding areas and your exterior walls? Um, and here's a great solution we found to be very, very effective. And that is get yourself some sound insulation foam. You can get this directly from Amazon. Go with the two inch egg crate and then get yourself some puzzle mats. This is the same stuff that might be in your kid's playroom right now. And then what you're going to do is just sandwich the egg crate foam between, you know, the puzzle mat and your wall. Use some three inch screws, usually one to two screws per two by two mat and then put this up and then literally the, as the golf ball impacts the puzzle mat, the egg crate is actually what absorbs it to keep the ball from ricocheting. And then the other piece is it actually also deadens the sound so that way it's not as harsh or loud. So consider putting this not only on the front, but also your side facing walls as well. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, just take a look how great that image looks. I mean, you remember all those wrinkles we had in the old impact screen? Not anymore, and that's all courtesy of our good friends over at One Stop Sim Shop. And I'll put a link in the description below, but that's where you can visit to actually get your own impact screen. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I mean, the craftsmanship is bar none. The materials that they use is top grade. I mean, take a look at something here. I'm actually standing in the center of our hitting bay right now, and I have all of the studio lights on. I mean, I'm lit up like a Christmas tree, but look how bright and crisp that image is. I mean, it's not washed out by any means, and that's just a testament to the quality of materials that the team over at One Stop Sim Shop is using. Um, so click on that link in the description below, and if you have any questions about which size is best for your application, then definitely reach out to the customer service team, and I bet you they'll get you the answers that you're searching for. And please do not forget, if you use the following coupon code, you're going to actually get 5% off your total purchase price. So just type swing space fit at checkout and you're going to get 5% off your total purchase price. And I know if it can stand up to what we give it day in and day out, it should work perfectly for you. So we truly hope you found value in this information we share with you today. If you have any questions or comments for us, leave them in the remarks below. And before I do go, I got a couple more quick tips to help you prolong the life of your impact screen. It just might save you a couple headaches. And although these tips may seem like no brainers, you really will be surprised of how many people make these mistakes. Heck, We've even made a couple. So tip number one is make sure you're using clean golf clubs. So even if you think they're clean, clean them and scrub them up again. I mean, the last thing you need is any grass or mud transferred to your impact screen and it can happen. So keep a little scrub bucket in the corner of the room, scrub them up and you're going to be good to go. Tip number two, check your golf balls daily. The very minute you get a scuff on one, throw it away. Do not continue to use it. Even if you just broke it out for that session, discard it because those little burrs on a golf ball will break down the fibers and will wear holes into your impact screen quicker than anything else. So throw them away. And the third and final tip, and as funny as it may seem, resist the urge to use golf balls out of your golf bag, even if you feel they're brand new and you didn't hit them because you just might accidentally pull one with a blue or red Sharpie mark and it will transfer to your screen. And if it does, there's no way to get it out. So guys, if you found value, please do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up. Let us know you did. If you have questions, leave them in the remarks. And if you have a friend or buddy that would get as much value out of it as you did, 
please share it with them. Until next week, thanks for watching.